from my point of view, should you perform the roundhouse kick with your instep or should you perform it with the ball of the foot? Most people now perform it with the instep and I'm talking about snap or hybrid roundhouse. I'm not talking about mutai or shin roundhouse which obviously is performed with the shin. However, some schools still perform the roundhouse kick with the ball of the foot. So I'm going to talk about both of those. Which one do I prefer? Why? And the advantages and disadvantages of each one in different situations. Now, I'm going to use this here as a target. We have the instep, we have the ball of the foot. Notice I had to move a little bit back. I cannot throw the ball of the foot kick here. It doesn't happen. And the reason it doesn't happen for the same way, and I know I talked about the hand position before, the fist to demonstrate the foot position last time, we're going to do the same thing here. You do this and you try to squeeze your fingertips from here as opposed to here it's going to be a lot more difficult. The same thing here, if I'm trying to get those toes out of the way, in this position it's a lot easier than if I pull it in. If I pull it in, it's much more difficult for me to get my toes out of the way. Because now the muscle is short, it's more difficult for it to pull. So when doing one of the seminars, one of the instructors said, well, let me show you why we perform it with the ball of the foot, and he went like this. He said, if you strike it, you're always going to end up hitting it with a big toe, like I'm doing now, okay? And if you hit it with a big toe, you're gonna hurt your big toe. Now, the mistake that he did, and I know some other people think the same thing, is that you extend your leg here when you throw the roundhouse. You don't. Obviously, you don't extend your leg right at the target because then it can't go through the target. Then what, what you're doing is just tapping the target. If you want power, obviously the leg has to go through the target. Well, if you do that, then the contact is made here. Not here here. Notice when the contact is made here, now you have almost the whole instep touching. Remember in the last video I talked about flexibility. If you're totally lacking flexibility there and you're like this, it doesn't matter. Even if you come through and my knee leads, I'm still going to strike this way. But if you have some basic flexibility, you're going to notice that here you're making contact with the instep. You're not making contact just with this here. With a big toe, usually you're making contact right here with a whole instep as opposed to this. So when you do the kick correctly and the knee goes through the target, so that extension will be through and not at, you will make good contact with the instep. That is not something to worry about. If you protect your instep correctly, some of the exercises I showed in the last video, you will not hurt your foot. At the same time, making contact with the instep allows you to make contact closer to the joint, less chances of injury to the joint, and right now I'm talking about the foot and the ankle. So those were the advantages of striking with the right house with the instep. Now the right house with the ball of the foot, I'm going to talk about the disadvantages first. We already talked about the fact that you have to pull your toes out of the way and that's a bit more difficult. You have dorsiflexion as opposed to when you have plantar flexion. Your toes are now more in danger. Problem number two, you're not going to generate as much power here, so you will have to have a better position on the target. Notice I had to move to get that better position on the target here. Of course, you're going to try to gain a position to strike with the ball of the foot. Now, if we're talking about sparring where your feet are protected, they may not be conditioned, but they're protected. You can strike with the instep. On the other hand, if your feet are conditioned and you always fight barefoot, you can strike with the instep because your instep is conditioned. You don't have to strike with the ball of the foot. Next, if you're looking for a specific target and to access that target, the foot has to come in a little bit deeper. For instance, the groin, the sole flex is the throat. Those targets, of course, it's easier for the ball of the foot to travel in because you get that extra distance from here to here, which can go deeper into the target. The instep may not strike the groin as deeply as the ball of the foot might go in to the groin. So that's one of the targets you would use it for. So that your foot and your ankle are safe and secure. I'm Paul Zajic, thank you for watching.
Good. <laughs> 